welcome back and here we are at step five and this is all about the brand of you now your brand is what people see and experience of you it's a fact that most people will form some kind of decision or opinion about you within seven seconds of meeting you and I think that's pretty scary but what that really highlights is the need to give the right first impression and by right I mean the impression you want people to form about you not what someone else dictates you should be. So, for example, depending on how you want to be experienced, you might look at your dress code, you know, because your dress code is part of your brand. What you say, how you walk, the language that you use and how you behave, they all reflect your brand. Now, the only issue here is, unless you're really clear on what you want your brand to be, and that is that you have a real sense of who you are, and unless you are aware of your habits and behaviours, you might not be leaving the impression that you really want to. You see, self-awareness is part of being emotionally intelligent, and developing emotional intelligence is key in building your confidence. Some easy things that you can do, though, in this arena is really to take a whiz through your wardrobe. Are my clothes a true reflection of who I am and how I want people to experience, experience me? Or actually, is it just full of stuff that the media tells me I should wear, I should like? Or have I just been over-influenced by my peers or magazines? Start being aware of your behaviours, whether you cover your mouth when you're talking, whether you avoid giving eye contact, because all of these things make a lasting impression. And your job, in order to look after your brand, is to make the one that you want. Get to it, start working on your brand. See you in the next video.